a lot of different ones. Okay, so let's start with a basic crunch here. Um, hands behind your, your neck, and you don't want to pull on your neck at all. Just have them there for support. Um, what you want to do is put your low back deep down into that mat, kind of get in a pelvic tilt position, and that your, your abs is one long muscle that goes all the way from, from the top to the bottom, and it's like you're taking the top and the bottom and crunching them together. Most important thing is that you exhale on the way up on these crunches, and y'all have probably all heard that before, but it really is important when trainers and instructors are telling you to exhale on the way up because you want to form a flat muscle. You want all the air out of your abdominal cavity when you actually do the contraction. Otherwise, you can form a poochy muscle. Okay, so always exhale on the way up and just trying to get the shoulder blades all the way up off the floor. Okay, so that's a basic crunch. So let's show an oblique crunch where you just come up and rotate to the side. Okay, so now you're working your rectus abdominis and your obliques that crisscross on the outside of your abs. Okay, you still want to get both shoulder blades up and then rotate. So you don't want to be kind of rocking on one shoulder blade, both shoulder blades up and then rotate. Again, exhaling on the way up and keeping the low back pressed against the mat. Okay, and then you want to show a bicycle. Okay, so now with the legs elevated, this becomes a little bit more advanced and you're just going elbow to knee, elbow to knee, both shoulder blades up and you're exhaling every time your knee goes towards your elbow. Very good. And do we want to do a V up? Okay. All right, this is an advanced abdominal exercise. You start with your body stretched out and then kind of come up and right. balance, uh-huh, balance on your tailbone. You got to exhale on the way up or you're not you're never going to make it without that exhale. So, yep, take a big inhale before you go. Exhale. And it, you're actually trying to make a V where you're just kind of balanced on your tailbone. Very hard to do. And when you build up some strength in your core from doing that, um, you can come up and hold it there like a boat position. Kind of hold it for a second and then go down. Yeah, and do it as slow as possible to take that momentum out. There you go. Very good. And again, that's a very advanced abdominal exercise. You may have to work up to that one. So for abdominals, you should strive to do all, some of the basic ones, some of the planks, and some of the advanced, and kind of vary your routine so you're doing, you're doing all of those things.